Huh? What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Ah! So you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! Will you shut up about your steaks? I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun in games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Maybe someone accidentally came across it. The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Omino something monster say... It granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability, so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait. Then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But, I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. Hmm, 
it's not very helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The midnight channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors, then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? It, it's seriously just something that popped into my head. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme. Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. wrong. Hmm. 
I see. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? You have solved the mystery and deflected the disaster that so nearly fell upon you. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Hmm, what may that be? Well then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. <gasps> ah, this is a surprise. These are shards of power allowing one to see through to the truth of things without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous! It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end, one beyond our predictive power. Now go to the place where everything began.
So the last battle wasn't enough for you? He has certainly have the powers I was expecting. For your special potential, of course. Your friends were drawn to the spark I stirred in you. That's why they're here now, with their awakened powers. Still, I didn't think you'd make it all the way to me. Indeed. I never expected this at all. You're really something. What? You don't remember? When you first came to town, I gave your power a gentle push. Just like... This. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. You're not the only one I welcome to town with a handshake greeting. I did the same for a few other outsiders like you. A handful of strangers were more than sufficient to stimulate a small place like this. But it seems the stimulus was stronger than I imagined. Enough to envelop this town with fog, and later lift it. Not only that, you now stand before me as if your assigned part wasn't enough. What for? What will grasping the truth do for you? Why such greed? I guess it's the foolish nature of being mortal. I am Izunami. Amano Sagiri, ruler of the fog, is merely an aspect of myself that I birthed long ago. You awakened to a power I had not imagined. And now, you face me with it. I can no longer ignore the situation as mere foolishness. This may be fate, as decreed by the world. Very well. This time I shall pit my full strength against you. But in return... You must come prepared to follow through in your futile resistance. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you there. Hey, are you alright? Who is that you were just talking to? Did she just disappear? W wait, don't tell me. So, it wasn't over after all. You're saying this so-called Izanami is the conductor, and she's waiting for us in the other world? If we don't beat her, I'm sure it'll all happen again. Okay, the others aren't far off, so I'll call them up. Yeah, will ya? Tell him this is really gonna close the case. Right. We'll defeat her and put an end to this for sure this time. Alright, then once we're all ready, let's meet up at Juness.
Let's go. I sense a tremendous presence. It's unlike anything we had faced. And it seems like a new area has formed. I bet it's that lady. She's waiting for us there. That reminds me. That Amino something we beat said stuff like, We'll meet again. If that thing's gonna show up again, let's crush him completely so he can't cause any more problems from here on out. Damn straight. Let's go snap that thing in two. We'll do it and give Senpai a big farewell tomorrow. Let's do our best like always, leader. It's kind of sad that this really is going to be the last time we do something like this. You know, this might sound like a weird thing to say, but it was a lot of fun. That's because we all strove together toward a common goal. There were many things we believed in without questioning them. The culprit's identity, their motives, there were many occasions where we nearly gave up. It may have been easier if we'd chosen to look the other way, but we didn't. Even if we had to fight every inch of our way, I want to go on feeling, seeing, touching, and thinking for myself. Yeah. Still, one person alone can only understand so much. That's why we're all here together. Right! All for one and one for all! So long as someone's got your back, you can kick against the pricks no matter how tough they are. This is for our future! So we can see him off tomorrow with no regrets. Ew. Yosuke always has to try to make himself look all cool. But he's so pathetic it makes my skin crawl. Probably just fleas on your ratty old suit. I spilled juice on you earlier. No wonder I smell of orangey freshness. Well then, let's do this!